All right, so here it is, guys. Um, my stream deck is done and wired in. Don't mind the cable management behind here. As you can see, I put the boxes on the side for this, so I have to just tie wrap it up and make it look all pretty. But for now, we're just focusing on the um, the stream deck. So I have um, I've shown people before that I wired in my room. There's a light for over there. So I wired in this little board, or not a board, but this little thing, just to have <clears throat> control of my lights from where I'm sitting. Then I have this. It's just 15 plus hours between the design. I took an old Atari case and um, some arcade switches. So, um, yep. Took that and then I painted it. You can tell I sanded it down. There was some Atari logos and there's this piece that I have to fill in and paint and then I'll put it back in there. Or maybe I'll put like a light or something in the middle here. But regardless, there's that. So let's just, you know, let's, let's get into it. Um, right here is the lights. Now at first you'll see that only the white and the blue lights come on. These are uh, my, main, my main ones that I'm going to be using while recording. This one is for the desktop. I can turn it on or off. So you'll see here, I got my um, recorder going on. Turn the desktop on with this one. Yep. And then turn it back off with that one. I know the, the buttons are a little clicky, but I'll if it's if it's too noisy um, on the recording, like if the microphones actually pick it up, I'll fix it. But if not, hey. So there's that. So if you look down here, it says mic slash audio. So the blue ones is mute and unmute. So. I unmute it, unmute it. And now, um, because this is all relay logic and I haven't done an Arduino, a PLC, or any module of any sort, I figured that these would be my um, secondary buttons, or not so much secondary, but auxiliary. <clears throat> so, excuse me here, let me pull up the program that I'm using to do all this. Oop, where'd it go? Dang it. Okay, so this is called the X-Patter down here, on my little screen here. It's called XPatter, and basically, this allows you to emulate controller inputs, so like, controller inputs into keyboard keys. So all I've done is I took an old Guitar Hero board, and I just wired up the relays that these are wired to, to that. So, with these, they're auxiliary buttons. Um, I want to show you before I show you with the press. Because they're auxiliary, when I touch them, the lights come on. I can kill it, but again, it's like, hey... You're not using that part of the deck, whatever, but if you want to use it, hey, now that deck is active. So you'll see here, too, that's um, the up and down on the D-pad. And you can see that's, that's one is a D-pad and one is a fret. That is a fret. So then I also have here um, recording start and stop. So when I hit record... You'll see it starts to record, but what also happens is this light stays on. Again, through the relays and everything that I got, I can keep control the lights all separately. So it's recording. I actually hit start too quickly, but you start your recording, and then you're like, hey, I'm done. Kill it. Now these last two are not done through the board at all, and they don't go through the computer. Um, well, they go through the board, but they don't go through the computer. So this one, I don't know if you can see over here. That light will turn on. So same thing, the light, and then the greens only are only momentary, and they'll turn on when you press them. But so this one is my actual on-air sign out here that I have. So now I'm off. There you go. There's my stream deck. I mean, it's something that what it looks like is very simple, but. Um, I got two 15 conductor cables in there. I only have three spare wires, so every friggin' wire basically is being used. Um, I've got 17 relays because I have to be able to um, tell the Guitar Hero board a separate signal that I'm telling the boards, like for the, like the, like this part where the lights actually stay on. The the light is 12 volts. A Guitar Hero board. If I put 12 volts through, it, I'm gonna fry it, you know. So that's where the relays come in play. These th these ones right here are hooked up to like four relays individually, and then like same with these ones, they're hooked up. Um, these ones are a little different because you'll see on my screen here when I hit the record, this stays on because the light stays on, and that's how I have that one. 
because when you're recording, it only ever lets you hit the button once. So even if I were to hit the number key, um, like here, I'll show you. I'll, I won't use that, but I use the actual number key. So it's recording, and I can keep on hitting it, but it won't do anything. So it's not going to affect that. So then with stop, well, it just hits it momentarily. Well, with the yellow lights, what I did is I actually ran the lights themselves through a completely separate relay. So when you turn it on, the lights stay on, but the switches are still separate. So, there you go. There's my homemade uh, stream deck that I made, and you know, I'm actually very proud of it. I'm very satisfied with how it turned out. I definitely want to make it look a little prettier now. I might take the buttons off and just repaint it again. Um, it looks like there's some like weird markings and all. That's just how this thing was, was molded. It's 40 years old, if not older than that, you know. So it's just an old piece of hardware, and it's, it shows its age. That's why I painted it. I um, need to maybe sand down that a little bit. and But whatever, you know. It works really well, and it's just right here, plugged in all the time. I can turn on and make it active. I can kill the auxiliary lights, you know. So, there you go. Thank you for watching my video.